Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the emulation of Luigi's Mansion, a game that was only released about two days ago at time of making this video, and a game which was also a booting day one of release on both emulators Yuzu and Ryujinx. Now before we get started, yes my voice is really weird in this video, because one, I just got home from travelling which is pretty exhaustive to itself, and two, during travelling I got like a really bad flu and my voice is still not back to normal, so if you're wondering why I sound a little weird that is exactly why so in this video we're going to be taking a look at both emulators yuzu and ryujinx to see how the game is looking how it's performing and also what its playability is like on both of these nintendo switch emulators starting things off we're going to continue looking at yuzu the emulator which we've been watching since the start of this video and as is pretty apparent it is actually rendered pretty well especially when you consider that none of the GPU devs have done anything to this game just yet. This is just pretty much how it has looked and ran since it was released on day one. This introduction area is not a pre-rendered video or anything like that, it's actually fully rendered 3D, kind of similar to how it is in Super Mario Odyssey, and to be honest, considering as I said that the GPU devs haven't even touched this game or fixed anything graphically just yet, it is rendered pretty well despite the fact that all of the lighting is pretty much missing from the game right now. Now as with many games when they are emulated for the first time, as we're seeing on screen now, we can expect a lot of graphical bugs. And as I said, with the lighting being completely broken in this game, on Yuzu at least, it's pretty poorly rendered when you jump into some areas like here where you can see there's this weird black depth outline around Luigi's character model. This weird depth or black outline issue doesn't happen all the time, it only kind of happens if your character model is close to the bottom half of the screen. However, these graphical issues are by far not the worst issue. What you're going to see right now is something that happens every time the game auto saves on Yuzu. The game is just going to completely freeze and crash, meaning that it's pretty much unplayable due to the fact that this title auto saves and the fact that it auto saves about every 15 to 30 seconds, doing so every single time you move from one room to the next. Using a game save which I dumped from my Nintendo Switch, I was able to get in game to see how it was rendering and also performing, and as we can see, it's also running pretty damn well. This title is a 30 frames per second game on the Nintendo Switch, and on Yuzu it's running anywhere between around 15 to 30 frames per second with much better performance in smaller areas like this garage area I'm showing right now. This performance level is achieved without using asynchronous GPU emulation. Unfortunately, if you do enable that graphics setting which usually boosts your performance quite a bit, it's just going to crash this game at least right now. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at Yuzu, let's jump over to Ryujinx and take a look at how this game is looking, running and how it is from a playability standpoint. Okay, so here we are in Luigi's Mansion 3 on Ryujinx, where it is actually rendering quite a bit better than it currently is on Yuzu. Now it's not all sunshine and roses and the game is far from rendered perfectly. For example, when you try to move from one room to the next, this happens to your graphics for a few moments. It basically just goes black with these strange green, yellow, blue or red outlines. It's not too bad considering that once you do move to the next room, your graphics do do recover and move back to how they were rendered before. It's just a pretty interesting bug that I wanted to point out that happens on the emulator. Unlike in Yuzu, the game does not softlock when it auto saves or does any kind of saving, so for the most part it is pretty playable apart from some visual graphical bugs when transitioning between rooms like we've seen before. There's also a very similar graphical bug that happens when you call the lift or elevator, though if the developers are to be believed, this bug should be fixed very very soon. Performance wise, 
it's kind of a weird experience because in some areas it runs really fluidly and really well while in some other areas like here in this hallway the frame rate jumps from like 10 frames per second up to 20 to 25 frames per second and it doesn't seem like the game is caching shaders or anything like that because I've gone through all of these areas before it just seems like there's some kind of weird performance issue that's causing the game to just be really jumpy. Now from a playability standpoint it is a lot more playable than it currently is on Yuzu but in regards to whether it's playable from start to finish I'm still not absolutely certain about this because as I said I've been really sick over the last few days and I as of yet haven't been able to make an attempt at finishing the game from the beginning till the end. Now regardless of anything it's pretty damn impressive that both Ryujinx and Yuzu are able to not only boot but also render the graphics of Luigi's Mansion 3 as well as they currently do and as I always do as soon as any Anything changes in relation to the game's playability, performance or render quality, I will be sure to keep you guys as updated as I possibly can. Before I go, I'm going to leave you with just 2 or 3 minutes of just raw Luigi's Mansion 3 gameplay on Ryujinx in its current form so that you can gauge for yourself how this game is rendering, performing and also sounding on this emulator. As always, down in the description of this video, you will find the Discord servers for either of these emulators. So if you want any more additional information, you can either head over to those respective Discords or join my own Discord and ask any questions you could possibly have about this or any other game I have covered on the channel. As always, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave it a like down below and also consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon if you are already subscribed so that you get notified as soon as I release any new update videos on any graphical or performance changes for any of these awesome emulators. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.
Oh. 